In this video, we'll be going over three sums. So given an array nums of n integers, are there elements a, b, c in nums such that the sum of the three elements is equal to zero? Find all unique triplets in the array, which gives a sum of zero. Notice that the solution set must not contain duplicate triplets. So in our first example, we're given negative one, zero, one, two, negative one, and negative four. In the first triplet, we have negative one, negative one, two, which, ha which has a sum of zero, and also negative one, zero, one, which also have a sum of zero. Now let's go over the thought process. The brute force approach will be to perform three nested for loops. This approach will cause us of n cube time complexity because of the nested for loops. In order to implement a more optimized approach, we had to sort the input array in ascending order. Then for each of the elements at index i, we can we can implement a two-pointer approach to find our other two elements. This will allow us to reduce the time complexity to O of n square. Now one side case we have the handle is the solution set must not contain duplicate triplets. Since we are sorted, since the input array is sorted, all of the duplicate elements are grouped together. This means if we already used the elements at elements x for the current triplet, we will want to skip all future occurrences of x. So for example, so for example, if we currently have three triplets, x and y and z, if we already accounted for the current triplet, we want to skip all future occurrences of x. And this will also apply for y and z. Um, th and this will become more clear in the pseudocode. So let's go do a pseudocode. So I want to create a variable. I mean, create a list, triplets, to keep track of all the triplets. Then we sort the input array in ascending order. Then we're going to iterate through the indices of the input array from 0 to nums.length minus 3 because we want at least three elements to be on our triplet. So we're going to denote it as i. So our current starting, so our current, the initial, um, the first element in our triplet is going to denote it as i. So basically it's our first element, for example, is x. So if i is not equal to 0 and the current element is equal to the previous elements, we will want to skip the current elements. So we're going to continue to the next iteration because we're because if we already accounted for x in the previous triplet, we don't want to use x again. Then we'll create our two pointers. J the current pointer on the left, so we're going to initially i plus one, and k the pointer on the right, so we're going to initially nums down length minus one. Then while j is less than k. That means we can still form a triplet between the three pointers. If j is not equal to i plus one, and the current element is equal to the previous elements, we will want to skip the current elements. This is a similar rule that we have applied to the pointer i in the previous iteration. Uh, sa same rule have, as we have applied to this one. So we just increment j and continue the next iteration. And this will also apply to k. So if k is not equal to nums.length minus 1, and nums k is equal to the previous elements at k plus 1, then we want to decrement k. And then continue the next iteration. 
Now we're going to find the sum of the triplets. So we're going to find the sum of triplets. So we're going to sum is equal to nums i plus nums j plus nums k. If sum is equal to zero, then we can add the three numbers. Add the three numbers to triplet. To triplets. And then we're just, we're just going to increment, increment j to allow us to have access to the next triplet. Else if sum is less than less than zero, we want to increment our sum. So we're going to increment j. Or we should say just make our sum larger. And then else, that means the sum is, small, uh, is greater than zero. So we want to make it smaller, so we're going to decrement k. And then we can return triplets. Let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is equal to O of n log n plus O of n squared. So we get O of n squared, where n is the length of the input, input array. And then O of n log n for sorting, and O of n squared for iterates plus two pointer. And our space complexity is equal to O of t, where t is the number of triplets. Then we're gonna just say O of t is our resulting list. Result list. Now let's go over the code. So we're gonna first create our list to hold our triplets. Then we're gonna sort the input array in ascending order. Then we're going to iterate through our first pointer. If the current elements, if i is not equal to 0 and the current elements is equal to the previous elements, we want to skip the current elements. So I want to continue. And then create our two pointers. And j is, is i equals i plus 1. And our right pointer, k, is equal to nums dot length minus 1. And then while j is less than k, we can still form a triplet. If, uh, if j is not equal to i plus 1 and current elements is equal to the previous elements, we want to skip the current index, j minus 1, we want to increase increment j and then continue. Do the same apply to k. If k is not equal to nums.length minus 1 and current elements is equal to the previous elements, then we want to decrement k and then continue with the next iteration. Now we're going to find the sum of, the tri of our current triplets. Nums j plus nums k. Then if sum is equal to zero, then we can add our current triplets. Raise dot s list. And then we're going to increment j after to allow us to have access to the next triplet. And then else, if sum is less than 0, we want to, inc we want to increase our sum. And then else, we want to decrease our sum. And we can return our triplets. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.